And uh, state prosecutors are winding their probe into various sectors of society. They've raided Lutte and SK groups, two of the country's largest conglomerates, as well as the finance ministry, to see if there was any foul play in their respective bids for highly lucrative duty-free licenses. Kim Hye-sung has more. Prosecutors on Thursday raided the headquarters of SK Group and Lotte Group on suspicions that there may have been influence peddling at the highest levels in the government's licensing of duty-free businesses. Investigators at SK and Lotte headquarters confiscated computer hard drives and documents related to the two companies' duty-free businesses. SK and Lotte, the nation's third and fifth biggest conglomerates, are known to have donated more than $9 million U.S. million and $4 million, respectively, to the foundation's Miru and K-Sports set up by Choi Soon-sil. SK Chairman Choi Tae-won and Lotte Group Chairman Shin Dong-bin are also known to have had one-on-one -on -one closed-door meetings with President Park Geun-hye in July 2015. They had lost a bid for those licenses last November. Five months later, in April 2016, the Korea Costume Service said it would issue four new licenses for duty-free stores in Seoul, and those are to be announced next month. To find out whether the two companies' donations were a form of bribe to win those rights, prosecutors also raided the Ministry of Strategy and Finance and the Korea Costume Service, which oversee the duty-free sector. It's the first time prosecutors have raided the finance ministry since 2006. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.